Evolve Lab believes in disrupting the current processes that are in place to help the engineering architecture industry move forward and be more productive. Currently, the industry is super broken. There's all kinds of issues. Specifically, we're not any more productive than we've ever been in the last 50 years. We've uh, stayed static as far as productivity compared to a lot of other industries. So we believe that there's a better way to design and build buildings through way of automation and computational design, data-driven design. Those are opportunities that a lot of firms are not taking advantage of. My name's Bill Allen, and I am the CEO and president of Evolve Lab. Evolve Lab is a full-service computational design and BIM consulting firm helping architects, engineers, and contractors. The really big firms have the overhead and the capacity for full-time BIM manager, full-time design technology manager, smaller to medium-sized firms do not. So as part of that, we're an on-demand, as-needed BIM manager for a lot of small to medium-sized firms, helping with template creation, content creation, training, support, workshops. We are very progressive, so being able to take data, make sure that it helps inform decision-making, processes, execution is really important. And so through that process, we're trying to not only raise the ceiling, but also raise the floor as the industry as a whole and make the entire industry more productive and more efficient, more progressive. We make the industry more effective through automation, dynamo scripts, computational design, parametricism, as well as trying to offer services like BIM services, 3D modeling, 3D coordination, um, helping firms train, support, templates. We also help out with content creation, Revit families, door families, window libraries, casework libraries, providing resource files, those types of things that often take a lot of burden on a small to medium sized firm. We're helping create that content and provide it as an opportunity to make sure that they can stay competitive with the bigger firms. Further, we also help out if you're in Grasshopper or Rhino, helping create this interoperability between those programs or form it, making sure that you're overcoming that model drop chasm, regardless of what kind of software you're using. This helps get over that chasm and ultimately save a lot of time and money. What makes us different than other vendors that offer training is that we're not a reseller and we take pride in that. As part of that process, we don't propose a solution just so we can sell more seats of Revit. We propose a solution because it is the best solution. We consider ourselves software agnostic. So whether you need a Grasshopper script or a Dynamo script, we support both of those. Whether it's ArchiCAD or Revit, doesn't matter. We're trying to make sure that we stay agnostic to the industry as it relates to software so that way we can provide the best solution for our clients. We went from this transition to CAD to BIM, and so primarily Revit being the workflow. Now starting to use tools like Dynamo or Grasshopper for automation is helping firms out a lot. It's kind of what we're calling BIM 2.0. It's the next wave of BIM as far as being able to implement a data-driven solution. So now we're not just looking at the data, but we're actually using the data to help inform decision-making, and it's gonna make firms more profitable and provide better products for their clients. There's also a lot of small to medium sized firms that are looking to take the leap into Revit and don't know how to do that. And so as part of that process, we're trying to be that support arm for the smaller to medium sized firms to make sure that they can be successful with that implementation. You would think even with the um, year that we're in that everyone would be using a BIM process, but it's not the case, especially as it relates to manufacturers. Manufacturers is one of the arms of the AEC industry that is just now starting to get momentum as it relates to a BIM process. So we've been working with a lot of different manufacturers, metal panel manufacturers, curtain wall manufacturers, to go from their traditional CAD process to their building information model process. Through that way, we've been able to automate a lot of their techniques and the workflows that they've had to do manually. There's a huge opportunity for them financially to really crush it. So to be able to take a process that is very manual, say dimensioning or panelization or palletization, being able to automate a lot of these processes is something that we're helping a lot of the manufacturers with. And I think it adds an incredible, immense amount of value to them. For contractors, we're specifically helping them with 3D modeling and 3D coordination. It's a lot more expensive when you install something incorrectly or based on a set of drawings that don't work. And so what we like to do is try to 3D model, 3D coordinate everything prior to install so that way it's all coordinated in the field. And we believe that you can build it before you build it. So being able to have a fully coordinated model adds a lot of value to contractors to reduce RFIs and change orders. There's also a lot of subcontractors that don't have the bandwidth or the know-how to 
work in a 3D modeling or 3D coordination environment. So we're helping a lot of subcontractors, mechanical engineers, electrical engineers. What excites me about the work we're doing is data-driven design and computational design. Traditionally, for the last probably 10 to 12 years, we've not been doing much with the data. We create a schedule, we look at it, we put it on a sheet, that's pretty much it. Being able to start having data in form buildings is super exciting. You can actually have a building have solar energy analysis, form finding based on optimization. Those are things that are really, really exciting. Further, there's a lot of opportunities for automation. So if you're having a panel schedule or a curtain wall schedule, things like that can be auto-documented, auto-dimensioned via data. Being able to infuse the data within the building information model is super helpful for clients as well.